hi everybody welcome to my channel so today we're going to be seeing here how is going to be your next romantic uh, connection so your next romantic connection let us see choose three piles and first pile is going to be the tattoo spirit So second pile is going to be the end spirit. And third pile, we are going to have the cow spirit. All right, so we have here group number one group number two, group number three. So let's see how it's going to be your next romantic connection. We see each other in your readings. Bye. Group one, welcome to your readings. So let us check what are we going to have here and let's see how it's going to be your next romantic connection. So for group number one, these cards are a little bit difficult to shuffle because they are so big here. So sorry about the time, but yeah, I want to shuffle this well. So let's see how it's going to be my group number one romantic connection. Next romantic connection. <clears throat> so first of all, I see that this is someone that is um, going to be sure about what they want so they might move um they are they might be a bit how can i say hidden uh doing things or not very obvious doing things but they are going to achieve their goals this person might work in a creative uh, space they might have something that you wouldn't expect i don't know maybe uh, it is a business person and then uh, you will see some something that they are wearing that you wouldn't expect in that, um, you know, with that suit or something like that. Um, all right, so that is possible. Uh, this can also mean that this person is more uh, open minded that you would uh, think in, in at first. Uh, I would say open-minded in a way, uh, not in every way, but in a kind of uh, mm, you know, the way they dress or being open for um, for if, uh, how can I explain this? It's difficult to explain, but I think you understand what I mean, alright? More open-minded than you would think at first. <clears throat> they they would be like um is their mind though is their mind is like if they they were coming from a big city let's say but uh big cities sometimes they don't even mean anything because there are big cities that they don't have an open mind but this person has that is what i mean is like um is very open for uh, different cultures, enjoys different co different cultures, in, enjoys um, understanding the other, and um, this is what I mean. So let us see. Let us see. Next romantic connection. Next romantic connection for my group one. Yeah. First of all, I think this... Um, you will enjoy this connection. You will feel safe. There is a sense of safe, safety here with this person. Also, a beauty. There will be a sense of beauty. Be maybe both of you um, have a, a peculiar, peculiar styles in, uh, in dressing. In so there's something harmonious about you two. You make a good pair. It's like you. I don't know if you say this in English, you make a good pair, but it's like uh, you match, you match. There's something about you that truly matches. Uh, mm -hmm. 
this person will seem very strong but at the same at the same time there is this thing that you are going to notice that is different than you would expect there will be love here a lot of love and i believe you are going to be have wow well, what is this you know what i just remember uh i was hearing uh, in the other day a documentary that was talking about manifesting things and creating uh symbols in your mind uh that will represent that vibration of the manifestation so i think that this person will be someone that you or will be uh having the energy of what you always wanted to manifest in life. Maybe it was a wish that you had in the past and that um, is now manifesting. It can be that this person uh, loves music or is connected to music somehow, plays an instrument. Um, there is a lot of potentiality here with this. For some of you, this person is also Christian, all right? For some of you. Uh, but this can also be a manifester. This can also be someone that is aware of the laws of manifestation, all right? A big manifester here because one of the big lessons in uh, Christ's life is... Um, a manifestation how you can manifest if you believe so this can also be possible here uh, there might be something about communication this can also be that this person uh, works with communication or this person can also be good in uh, telling you um, expressing in a very creative way <laughs> all right things were falling and i want to shuffle this so let us see how is going to be uh this person how is going to be your next romantic connection all right i want some clarifying here how is going to be your next connection so I'm seeing here, oh, hmm, I want something, I want more information. What is all this about? I think you are going to be building this connection, okay? Remember when I told you in the beginning that you are going to notice that this person is going to move surely towards the de de destination, but it might also be that this person um, is going to want first to ground things uh, and create some magic here. But I want to understand more. What is that all about? What is that all, all about? I, I want to take this. It might be that this person is juggling a lot of things when you meet this person. And it might be that this person is in a, in a business that takes a lot of uh, responsibility. Maybe they have someone, um, a supervisor or a boss that is it's kind of telling them what to do. Um, they have something that they prefer to do. There's something here that they prefer to do. One thing they prefer than other. But for sure, there is someone that is going to be uh, supervising this person in, in a business. I think this person will not be immediately uh, thinking or immediately connection uh, connected in an, emotion, in an emotional way, all right? For this person, and I had that feeling in the beginning, it will be something that will need to be built. I want to know more. Uh, let me see if I have more insights here with this uh, deck. Let us see. 
who will be this person oh i was seeing my mind i was seeing my mind this card i can't believe this is so interesting you know what i feel i feel that this person is a dreamer and it's interesting that he's following here on top of this card that i told you in the beginning that was about manifesting so i believe both of you have been manifesting each other this person is is wanting to build something serious is wanting to build um uh, they have a dream of a house they have a dream of a family and um they are doing that they are still manifesting you they are still manifesting you okay i think this person is not going to be obvious uh that is going to be um looking at you or again i have the same message it's not going to be immediately um obvious that this person is into you i think that it might be that you have someone that's around you that is kind of disturbing you but this person or in that situation or when you meet this person um there will be a sense of this person having your back this person having your back yeah <clears throat> maybe if there is some someone around you that is kind of you know not having a good energy around you this person is is having your back this situation can be about now uh, can also be about future and uh, i want to see if tarot has more to say so let us see let us see here so tarot what is all this about how is going to be this next connection So this might be someone that works a lot and uh, they might feel exhausted here with the work situation because I believe they are not going to access immediately to their emotions. So let me see more how is going to be this connection. So there will be some construction here, that's for sure. So let me see how is going to be this connection. Yeah, this will be uh, very good for both of you. It's going to bring a lot of progress, not just in terms in terms of love, but in terms of um, you know potentiality of achieving things. Uh, I think it's going to be your wish fulfillment in every uh, in every case. So let us see more. I think this person will enjoy offering new things. Oh. Uh, I think this person will be good in showing and communicating more in a like in a creative way there's something with the communication with this person it can be that they'll enjoy give you uh, enjoys giving you presents all right i think that I see that you are going to be building things together. Mm -hmm. Also see that this person might need to recover from something. Okay. That really, and this can be this work situation that I was seeing something that was taking um, their energy can be that this person was juggling a lot responsibilities and it kind of uh, disturbed that energy because the emperor is in reverse but they are going to be recovering and i think this will be a process that's why in the beginning i saw that this person is going to go slow and it's not going to be immediately they are going to work in this connection it's not going to be immediately that they are going to connect with their emotions there will be a process here okay
Mm -hmm. It can be difficult for this person to uh, initiate uh, something emotional. Why? I think there is a kind of a healing process that this person is going through um, while uh, you are having or while you were encountering this person because uh, I think this person can be wounded uh, by the past and uh, by dishonesty of other people. Yeah, yeah. It can be that before this person was dealing with a lot of fake people. And it can also be that there are people in their work that are very fake. And this is kind of disturbing uh, his or this person energy. But I believe this person is going to find themselves and they are going to probably initiate their own career okay they don't want to be burdened anymore so they are going to be initiating their their own career so this person will go will go slow i think even if they are feeling the connection as i saw in the beginning they are going to move and probably in the beginning is going to be in a very disguised way it's not going to be obvious immediately they are going but they are going to move to achieve um the success that they want the stability that they want and i also see here uh, their wish fulfillment all right but be prepared that is going to be someone that is going to grow here I, I think or come out from a difficult situation uh in the same at the same time that they are getting to know you and um when i saw this card i thought it can be that this person um already connected with you before but I don't think so. Uh, in the overall reading, I don't think so. Um, I think that this is most mostly uh, something that this person is going through. That is 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 giving them a lot of stress. Mm hmm. Maybe this person is not uh, is not resting well. So it's going to be a process here. All right. And then we have here the perfect key. And I think that this is what is going to be representing your connection. You are going to be the perfect key for each other. Okay. Okay. Um, in the beginning, I saw there is something about your style. Both your styles is the way you match. You match well. And also we have uh, 29. And uh, this is number 11 uh, at the end. So I think that is there's something that has to be with both of you. It's destined. All right. So this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. We are going to see each other next time. Bye. Hi, group two. Welcome to your reading. Let us see how uh, it's going to be your next romantic connection. So your next romantic connection. How is going to be your next romantic connection? So let us shuffle. I think this person is a, you know, hard worker and um they are good in with bringing things together uh i don't know how to explain this or taking conclusions this person might see patterns in things they can have a type of uh, of personality that they they see patterns they work with patterns um, there is one type of personality, I think is INFJ, that um, 
they connect with others and they can see patterns in people. So they, they get you to know you uh, very fast because they kind of um, see the patterns that you have. So they can take conclusions very quick about other people's personality and uh, they have very good intuition also. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, all right, I'm not a very good specialist on personality types, but I was watching the other day and I think that is the personality. Um, so this might be the case with this person. There might be something different with the hair, the, the way they style their hair. So how is going to be your next connection? I think this person is going to be independent, though uh, ready to put things, share things with the other people. So for growth, all right? Understanding that their potentiality plus the potentiality of the other person is going to lead you to much more success. So let me see. I meant their characteristics uh, plus the characteristics of the other person um, are going to lead both of you. It's like constructing things. So let me see. So how is going to be your next connection? We have here a card wanting to come out. Yeah, there's something about leadership and this person. They might say the right words at the right time. There's something about saying the right words at the, uh, at the right time. They might enjoy things about space. Um, I don't know why. For some of you, this can be astrology. For others of you, this can be like uh, movies. Movies uh, like um, fiction, science fiction. That's it. Also, this person likes to be well off in life. They like to, to have material gains. They like to build things to, to achieve. Mm -hmm. So your next, and I think that your next connection is going to be very grounded. Okay, you are going to work together to achieve also material gains. How is going to be your next romantic connection? Wow. <sighs> Oh my God, I think these are very positive. You have number four and you have number eight. So in numerology, these two numbers, they work well together and they work to achieve things. It's their goal. Their goals are to achieve things. So I think that both of you are going to be two achievers. And it's very interesting because we have two lions and one is representing the masculine and, and the, the strength in tarot and here also is always uh, represented by a woman opening the mouth of the lion. You are going to be having a very interesting, very interesting agreement with each other. Um, you are going to know how to work together and you are going to be very good workers. I think that you are going to achieve a lot of material gains together. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is one of you that is going to have a lot. There might be someone that is going to lead the enterprise or the company. And the other one is going to give them a lot. So you're going to work as a team very well, very well. It's like both of your characteristics will match together to and co-create together. There is a sense of uh, leadership also. All right, how is going to be your romantic connection? One of you is very intuitive and um, the other person is going to appreciate that intuition a lot. Okay, I want some clarifying here. Hmm. It might be that one of you will need to work your divine feminine energy or even both of you in this connection. Um, so what does it mean? It means that sometimes um, 
So things from Earth, though many people, they relate, uh, you know, finances and things that are growing with the divine masculine. The divine feminine is the Earth element, okay? Divine feminine is what uh, brings the manifestation out into the world. And so, but there is also the part of the water element, which is the emotions, uh, which is uh, also very needed, of course, in a love connection, in a romantic partnership. So what I see here is that probably because of past wounds, there might be a need here to work together in this in these past wounds that can can affect your connection because there's something here that needs to breathe water needs to run in order to to things grow okay water needs to be flowing freely so be careful with some stagnant stagnant um energies in these terms or things that are not said because uh, probably you were more focusing on your uh, goals or in your, I would say that um, I would say that probably this is one of you, not both of you, probably one of you will need to work in the divine feminine energy. Okay, and this is because of past wounds. And it's probably is not going to be easy at first, especially um, maybe uh, one of you uh, is going to avoid some passion contact or something like that because there is an imbalance here in the divine feminine energy. Okay, so let us see more. How is going to be your connection? How is going to be this romantic love connection okay yeah maybe it's going to be taking uh, a while here oops yeah because i believe that this unbalance uh, here from the past is going to be blocking uh, some progress. Uh, it's going to be blocked. This, this can be at first. This can be at first, but actually you work very well together to achieve things and one with the intuition. Mm -hmm. So it's just that be careful here with some actions that can come from wounds from one of you that can come from wounds even the empress in the reverse and the queen of fire in reverse this can be representing actions that will come from wounds i think that both of you you are going to be working together uh, working together to uh, heal this, okay? And I feel that uh, you are going to be wanting to see the light in the end of the tunnel. You are going to move, that's for sure. You're going. You're not going to be wanting to stay stagnant here. You are going to 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 want to move. Probably you're going to be receiving some advice for from someone. Um, and we are going you are going to be planning for your stability and for, for your future with this card and uh, you are going to be learning how to trust also in this connection i think you, people or someone uh is going to be helping you helping you see Maybe some kind of a guide, even your spirit guides for some of you. Mm -hmm. You are going to have support uh, in this connection. So you're not going to feel 
that this uh, stagnation will be forever because you are going to be wanting to work in this one or the other. I don't know which one of you it will be, but uh, they are going to be ready to work uh, in this. Yes. Can you see? And then the impulse of emotions will be there and you are going to be much more much more um willing to share your uh, emotions with each other and what is precious to you i think all of this behavior at first comes from wounds that will let one of the person one of you acting from that fear and because of that, it can be that some behaviors of manipulation will come or something like that, but it has it has um, a root in it. But you are going to be one of the other or the other is going to be uh, willing to see what's going on. And then understanding that, uh, you know, that beautiful part sensitive and vulnerable part and share with the other okay things are going to flow much more all right so this is what i have for you my dears let me know in the comments if this resonated and we are going to see each other next time bye hi group three so we are already starting here with this card that is telling us that miracles are never finished so this is a very sacred card uh you know the cow is sacred for uh some countries uh for india perhaps you come from that country uh, i believe this most of all it means that it's going to be a very prosperous connection it's going to feel that uh you really found uh, the happiness that you wish for you are going to be growing together uh, this person will also feel very prosperous and uh, there's a knowledge about this person. There is a knowledge here. Oh, there is a knowledge and there is ancient uh, knowledge. For some of you, this can be someone that also has some Native America uh, in them or they are connected to Earth. They love things from Earth. Uh, I don't know how to explain. They are in contact, let's say, in contact let me see more about this romantic connection so next romantic connection for my group number three okay so interesting i don't know why but this card really wanted to come out today it's the third time so i think that this person is going to be uh, having leader qualities for sure for sure they are very going they are they are having a lot of uh, qualities that will make them uh, uh, succeed in life okay also uh, th there will be a lot of stability in you are going to be working together um, I think you are going to be working together in this connection let us see more I'm noticing red so it can be that this person is also very rooted okay it might be that there will be some confusions at first. It, it can be because of a phase where a lot of things are happening. But I, th I believe this, this or you, both of you in this connection, you are going to be following most of all your instinct. For sure, this is going to be a very creative connection. So let me see more how it's going to be this connection. How it's going to be this connection. Okay. I want some clarifying here. There are some blocks here also. Can be something in unexpected, but can also be that at first it's going to feel like um, there are some blocks um, here with emotions. For this, this person is very goal oriented, 
So I can see that there might be some frustration here in accessing um, the emotional parts. Let us see more. Again, four, four. Yeah, I believe this is not going to be, especially because it's water again. I believe, you know, in this case, what I see here is that um, you are going to, to be working in this connection. You are going to be working in this. Okay, so uh, it might be a bit, it might seem a bit of a, an obstacle at first, but... Um, you know, I think this person is going to put their leadership qualities and wanting to be working on what, what is not advancing. Because Four of Cups can also be something that is not advancing. But because I was looking at the number four before and I was seeing the Emperor, I think this person is going to be understanding that this is temporary. But this person is going to take their leadership qualities to understand how can you advance together. Okay. So something might need to change at first because um, there is here there are some steps that are are not being taken, uh, or something that even from the exterior that can be blocking this, this, this connection. But there are, there are a lot of to offer here and this person is going to be working on this. It's not going to be stagnant forever. How is going to be, okay, I'm going to take the first. Okay. Uh, so here we have five of ones and I think that The, the most important thing is that you are going to stay firm. And there are, there are going to be some tests with this, this connection for sure. It's good to work together as a team so that both of you can uh, progress because I think other people can try to interfere in your connection. So be aware of that. Also, there will be a need of transforming, transforming the state, something that here blocks you, blocks your emotion. This will need to be transformed. Also, um, I think one of you is going to be feeling that the other sometimes can be a bit cold. And uh, there are some behaviors in your connection that may block, may, may block something more profound. And, uh, but this person is willing to work on this is willing to work on this and um, some transformation is going to be needed, especially in the way you communicate with each other. For some of you, you already know this person. Okay, I was feeling this, and for some of you, this can be the case. So the most important thing here for both of you is to be faithful, is to be faithful to what you believe, and to, um, you have a magic one here. You are a unicorn, unicorn, you can, in this card, all right? That means you can manifest wherever you want and you need to be remembering this. Yeah, if you keep faithful to what you believe, 
you are going to succeed in this connection because I saw in the beginning that this can bring you a lot of happiness and prosperity. And now we have seven of earth. Yeah, this is uh, confirming that you really need to keep advancing. It's very important to advance because it's like giving you hope of the, you know, things that the universe is going to be giving to you. This is a, a card that is telling you not to give up. It's not the time to rest. It's time to deal with this thing. It's to deal with these obstacles. And there is very important to believe, to believe in something. Maybe one of you is trying to communicate something, but is not being able to communicate in the best way. Yeah, it's like it's telling you to keep going, to keep going. I think for a lot, many of you, you already know this person. Look, my question right now was what would be the overall of this uh, relationship? And you have the Ten of Cups. So, yes, it, this is worth fighting for. This is your happiness, your uh, emotional happiness. Okay, it might be there are some blocks here, special in the beginning, some problems, probably even with communication. It might be that one of you seems to cold, uh, but uh, yes. As I was saying, you know, it's worth uh, the the to persevere and to uh, fight for this connection. All right, we are going to see each other next readings. Bye.